she really enjoys and focuses on stringing those beads onto the necklaces. And she loves to work with her hands. She leans in and she looks really hard. Ooh, you did it. And I think people enjoy wearing them too because she's made them, so they're special. My name's Lainey Morrow and I am a mama of a five-year-old little girl named Lila and she has Down syndrome. And she drops things on the floor. <laughs> But she likes to work with her hands, and so we've been making lanyards that hold identification for people. That's some detailed work right there. It's perseverance for her, you know, Yay. but it's such a good picture of what her whole life has been and will be. Um, and at the same time, I mean, I've never heard her complain. Even if she could say, Daddy, I don't like this, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't like the way this hurts, or whatever it is. She, she just keeps going and she just perseveres through it and <laughs> now you're gonna eat the cheese with a spoon. Okay, here, can I help? Here she is, she's, you know, heart surgeries and therapies and the pain and uh, at the end of the day, she's so excited to just sit at the table and thread beads. <laughs> I think that people with disabilities, often pe others think they don't, they can't. It's focused on what they can't do but really they can. They, there's so much that people with disabilities can do and want to do. Look, that's you. They want to work, they want to contribute. Lila likes to make things. She likes to see a finished product and she's only five. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. I think that a lot of these people are excited to see their products in the store and that there are people who want to buy them. They want to have them. And as a parent, I'm proud to see people walking around with something that she's made. You know, I went to the opening of the store and one of the things I, you know, I'm manly enough to admit it, I got a little teary-eyed. As I'm watching them drop the, the curtain and everything, I'm looking at it and for us it represents more than just, hey, this is a cute store, I can buy things that make people feel good. For us, it's, you know, 15, 20, 30 years from now, hopefully the store is still going and Lila has something she can do, something that she can use her talents with. And so it really does symbolize hope more than just, more than just, you know, I'm gonna go in and buy a lanyard. It's, man, it's something for our daughter to grow into and aim for and a goal in life. And See you later. See you later. Bye. Come back and see me. Bye. Oh. Bye. Bye, Lila. It was a it was an emotional moment for me because I'm you. I'm looking at what my you. little girl can do in the future, not just hey, let's make some fun beaded necklaces, you know. Bye bye.